Okay, so today what we're going to be showing is how to take a record in Airtable and try to make a update record form, more or less. Now, this has come up a lot. People want update record features and forms, potentially for a few reasons. Occasionally, it is to get around the Airtable pricing method, and this is not to get around the Airtable pricing method. We are going to build update record forms with the same functionality that you would want in an update record form, which truly is just validation, data validation. I have certain fields filled in on a record and I want to update it. And I want to have certain things filled in to move it to a certain stage. So this is super common. This is often why people use tools like fill out or other things. Uh, and that's what we're going to be covering in this video. Mm -hmm. Navy and I are going to be doing that. So stick around and we're going to jump into it. What I have done here thus far is I have a bunch of ideas that I have in this database, in this table in Airtable, and I want to move them basically to a next phase. So I have two ideas that I've brought in here and I basically want to turn them into a marketing brief. So these are like ideas for what something could be and they're in one part of the table. And I basically want to have a status field where we then turn them into a brief. So this is common where in order to have an idea, you don't really need much thought into it. But then when you want to take it the step further, when you decide, okay, now this is going to become a marketing brief, uh, we need a lot more data filled in. So over on the left, we have already started this. If I jump over to pages here, I'm going to show how I got here. So I added a page there. And what I added was a record review page. And I just use the defaults. There's a simple filter on it so that there's only two ideas in here thus far. Uh, but that's how we're getting started. So how you want this to work is you basically want to have all the fields that you would want in here as editable. Maybe certain fields are also view only, which could work. Uh, but basically over here on the left, I think we would want a status field. Is something we're missing. So let's see if I can pull in a status field. And actually that status field is, is not the one that I'm looking for. So like it doesn't represent good, good statuses because this, this thing has been through the, the ringer, I'd say. So things start out in this database as an idea. We can add idea as the first option and set that as the default as well. Thank you, Navy, for typing. So after idea, then what it goes to is a brief. So we'll say idea is like a yellow phase, and then a brief is a blue phase. Nice to optimize colors. So in here, we'll see stage is, we'll bring stage all the way to the bottom. Now, if I wanted to know, like, what do I need to, uh, what do I need to fill in for a marketing brief? I'm just going to use some of the stuff from when I look up a marketing brief. So in order to take it from an idea to a brief, I need to know who's the audience, what are the goals and objectives, what's the budget, uh, what's the background, deliverable, scope, all of that stuff. So for me, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to add audience and purpose. So I may already have an audience field. I don't. So we're going to say audience and normally you'd probably have some standard audiences. I'm just going to add it in as text. It looks like when I added that field from this, it didn't accept my label. Maybe I didn't do it right. So I need to edit that field right there, change the name of the field, and then also now change the label of the field here, change it to editable. So like I said, I was going to add audience and purpose. So purpose. And we'll change purpose to editable as well. Okay. So now you're wondering, okay, so we now have this form and basically I would want to say purpose is going to be required. Audience is required. Notes is going to be required name and this first field up here, which is also, uh, I guess these fields are the same. So I can delete that one. So uh, for now, just so we can see this, I'm going to say this was actually idea. And if I go to what is a marketing brief, that one was also an idea. 
the reason being is because I want to show how this could look like over here. So the other nice thing about this, the way we're doing this, other than like you are going to have to pay for collaborators in order to do it this way. But over here, we're going to see, let's see, let's add a filter. Where stage. I imagine I'll have fields beyond idea or brief. So, but in this intake interface, which is essentially what I'm building here, I only want to show those two stages if it's an idea or brief. So now what I would do is you would also want to give them a way to add it, add an idea initially. So we'll say add records through a form. I'm going to delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Holy cow, that's a lot. So we just need name, notes, and let's go with stage. The stage, I want it. They should only be able to select idea, and that's going to be the default value. They should also be required to put a name in there. OK, so now what happens is somebody can submit an idea, but then to turn it into a brief, they come in here, they fill out certain things. And this is where in this group or on this page, one of these places. So if I click on the group right here, highlights the whole thing, I can add a button. Or on the page, I could also add a button. I want to say this is this button is going to say submit brief. And it's going to update the record. And it's going to set the status to be uh, stage to be brief. The color before I want it to be blue, the color after we'll say green, we'll say brief submitted. So now it's like, well, how do I make sure, how do I add the data validation actually? How you add the data validation is conditional visibility of this button. So I'm going to say only show this field if purpose is not empty, only show this field if audience is not empty, only show this field if name is not empty, and we'll say notes is optional. And we'll move stage back to read only. So now let's see what this looks like. Let's publish this and check it out. So my favorite field in Airtable is the status field because it's so universal. The audience for this are Airtable users. The purpose of this, I'd say bring humanity to Airtable, not just columns and rows. So you fill that stuff in and now this appears. So now I can submit this to be a brief, but that only showed up if I filled in all of these things. So if I delete that audience, now I can't submit it to a brief. So let's see back here. Let's edit this again. Now, the other thing you may be wanting is a little bit more data validation, uh, like help in here. So what I would do is I would add a formula. And this is going to be a concatenate statement. And this is basically to help you enforce your data validation. So we're going to say if purpose, and this is not in like the best order, but we're going to say if purpose return blank, otherwise return a red emoji. And we're going to say purpose empty. And let's spell purpose right. Maybe this is where I could use your typing. And then let's also use a the back the this is like not a backslash, but a forward slash n. That's going to return a line break. And just to show this, I'm just going to do this with audience and purpose. So let's say this is brief validation. OK. So that is a formula field that's just going to be visible on there just to show us what fields are empty. 
Navy's looking at herself. So if I go to what is a marketing brief here, I can see purpose empty and audience empty. If I fill in that and I fill in that, those two things disappear and submit brief shows up. Uh, you could take this even a step further and have brief validation only be visible, like the field itself only be visible if all of the conditions are met. So that's how I would do an update record form in Airtable, assuming that you're okay with having the form users be billable collaborators. Uh, there are workarounds we could discuss around them not being billable collaborators, but this at least gives you a way to add data validation. Uh, as you move projects or whatever you're tracking through different stages. So I hope this was helpful. And if you want to learn more about conditional visibility, whether it be in buttons or whether it be in like in this detail page right here, go check out the video here in the end screen and we'll go through more conditional visibility. Unfortunately, Navy won't be in that video, but you can go check that out here right in the end screen.